the world will hate you. The world will persecute you. The world will reject you. But that doesn't mean you stop doing the right thing. In the words of Jesus in the New Testament, Jesus says in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 18 to 25, uh, well, he allegedly says that, and this is the part I agree with. Whoever wrote this, I agree with this. Jesus says, if the world hates you, keep in mind it hated me first. If you belong to the world, you would also, it would love you as it is own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. Now, this is the part, now, I, I agree with this part. Whoever wrote this part, I, I actually agree. Now, whether Jesus said this or not, that's a completely different discussion about whether the Gospel of John is accurate or not. But, uh... But whoever wrote this, this is actually, this is something I agree with because this is something I've been through in my life. You know, I've been through persecution for my beliefs. I've been through rejection because of my beliefs. I've been through, you know, I, I people have hated me because of my beliefs. But that doesn't stop me from doing the right thing. Even when the right thing, even when I do the right thing, sometimes I don't get the rewards that I that I would want or desire but that doesn't stop me from doing um, the right thing and this uh, this is actually echoed in in the Islamic sources if we read in Sayyid Bukhari 4953 where Ibn Waraga after confirming that the Prophet Muhammad is a real prophet because that's a real angel Gabriel that came to him uh, Prophet Muhammad says something very important he says uh, it says in Sayyid Bukhari 4953 Prophet Muhammad said, and I'll be posting this below, Allah's Apostle said, Will these people drive me out? And Waraka said, Yes, for nobody brought the like of what you have brought, but was treated with hostility. If I were to remain alive till your day, when you start preaching, then I would support you strongly. But a short while later, Waraka died and divine inspiration was paused uh, for a while, and Allah's Apostle was uh, very much uh, grieved. So, there's a there's a powerful lesson learned in you know in the in the Gospel of John and, and in this uh, in this hadith uh, that when people persecute you when people when people hate you when people reject you because of your beliefs that doesn't mean you stop doing the right thing um, you know it's all a confirmation to do the right thing despite the fact um, that you will be persecuted and rejected by the world so uh, there's a there's a very there's a very uh, Interesting hadith in uh, Thermidi 3 to uh, uh, Sunan al Thermidi uh, 2322, where the Prophet Muhammad said, Look, the world is cursed, and what is in it is cursed, except the remembrance of Allah and what is conducted to that, the knowledgeable person and the learning person. So notice what the Prophet Muhammad said. He said, The world is cursed, and what is in the world is cursed. And, and you know, you look around, you see. You know, you, you see corruption, you see greed, you see, uh, you, you just see bad things in the world. You see, uh, you know, the world is like a Gnostic prison. It's like, you know, the, the, the evil, like evil people run the world. Evil people um, run the world. Evil people hate on Islam. Evil people hate on Muslims. Evil people, uh, you know, spread drugs sexual immorality, sexual immorality, um, you know, alcohol, they, uh, people spread evil throughout the lands, you know, be like the, the, the evil are the ones who, who rule the world. The, the evil are the ones, the evil people older are the ones that truly, um, you know, run the world and they, they control, they control everything. But the power, the evil ones are the most powerful in this world. But the, the powerful, like in my life, I learned that the powerful may control everything, but they don't control our, our will to choose. They don't control us. They don't control our free will to choose, to choose to do the right thing or to choose to do the wrong thing. The powerful may control a lot. The powerful may control most things, but they don't control our will to choose, our will to do the right thing. And, uh, you know, this, so there, this is like a very powerful, um, powerful reminder, you know, because some days, you know, I kind of question why I'm doing what I'm doing and whether the rewards outweigh the 
really the rewards outweigh the sacrifices and what I have to do to keep being a Muslim apologist on YouTube, despite the fact that there isn't, I don't get any rewards for this, right? Um, but then I remember the words of the Quran where, you know, it promises the believers a, well, the Quran says something very, uh, something I, I, uh, I agree with. And the Quran, or something that, that, that really makes me think, in the Quran chapter 9, verse 38, it says, God says, are you satisfied with the life of this world rather than the hereafter? But what is the enjoyment of worldly life compared to the hereafter, except a very little? So notice what God is saying here. He's saying, he's saying, are you satisfied with the life of this world rather than the hereafter? But what is the enjoyment of worldly life compared to the hereafter, except very little? So this worldly life is, is nothing. It's just, it's, it's, it's very little. It has, it has, it's nothing compared to the hereafter. So, um, so, you know, uh, we, um, so basically, if you're a Muslim, right, especially, I don't know about, like, in the lands of the Middle East, okay, I don't know about those lands, but if, when you're a Muslim in America, yes, you're going to get rejected, you're going to get persecuted, and you're going to be um, ridiculed for your beliefs. It's not, life is not going to be easy, right? It's not going to be, it, it will be a hard life when you're a Muslim. It will be a hard life. You will be persecuted. You will be rejected. You will be, um, you know, the world will reject you. But remember the words of God, that this world is very little compared to the hereafter. So you got to do the right thing, even if the right thing, even if there's no rewards for doing the right thing, you still got to do the. It's still important to do the right thing because of the promise of the hereafter. That's all I got to say.